I am getting I'm getting too comfortable. Like when I first moved to the city, it was like, ooh, hell, excuse me, sir. Oh, sorry. No, after you. Now, like people, I could be in like a McDonald's waiting for my order. If somebody comes in and goes, ah, I'm, I'm just like, whatever, dude, you do you. As long as you don't get in front of me when, it, when they call my number, like, that doesn't bother me. I'm, I'm feeling like too entitled to do as, to act as I please at all times. I'm kind of on my psycho arc, honestly. I, I know I, I tweeted that, like, I'm not going to stop at stop signs anymore. That was obviously satirical. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> but I, but I have, I've, I've been acting, like, a lot more selfishly to strangers lately. And honestly, I see why people do it. <laughs> it is easy. Because you know what? Sure. It's it just it's the example of, like, if the, it, an angel cries when a nice guy loses his cool. Like, 20% of my brain power, whenever I was outside, was dedicated to, like, oh, this person's gonna walk here, so I'm gonna move here so I don't get in their way, and then that... And I realized, fucking nobody else is giving you the same level of courtesy and concern that you're giving them. So I said, fuck it, this is where I'm walking now. I'm looking at my phone, I'm walking in a zigzag pattern like everybody else. Yeah, I... I've only been in the city a couple times, but man, is it annoying trying to walk with other people who don't, yeah, who are like that, who just don't seem to really give a shit about other people walking around. Dude, I just a couple. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, there, there was a couple. It was me and Chibli. We, we were, had just finished our uh, nice little sushi dinner, and we were just walking down the street, and there was a couple in front of us, like taking up both things, like uh, like Pissing walking, like, off, uh, hugging together, like, oh, you're so fucking cute, but could you get the fuck out of the way? One like, of you's got to you got to walk here. single file when there's other people around, so everybody can use the sidewalk. It's, it's just ridiculous. It's so selfish. This is not... I, I, I can't believe I haven't told this story before. I swear to you 100% this is true. I was walking on a narrow sidewalk. There was a mom and two kids. And the kids, you could just tell. Like, I was making eye contact. He was like 12. He, he had this shit-eating grin on his face. He was like, I'm, I don't care about anybody but myself. Maybe there's some projecting, okay? But he was walking his dog. I moved over to the side so they had space to get by me. He moved away from his dog so that I was now going to walk into the leash. And I saw the situation develop over 15, 20 feet. And I said, I'm not fucking moving. And then I just walked into the leash. And as soon as I walked into the leash, it got like the dog got wrapped around my leg a little bit. And then the kid went like, oh, and had to walk around the other side to untangle it. And he said, sorry, mister. And I just said, <gasps> I just said, yeah. And then when he untangled, Jesus I kept Christ. walking. This, I <laughs> swear to you, it's not a joke. <laughs> that's that's a Man, <laughs> I was we had ample time to not have a collision. I moved into the spot oh. to not collide and you said let's it's go time. Okay. No, I mean, I, 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 I I'm just surprised is all I feel like you really are in your psycho arc, dude. I think it, it has there's a couple of things related. I think one of them is uh, I have very little free time and that has me constantly on edge because I'm you know, parenting a lot. So yeah. I don't get a lot of me time. I think it makes me more prone to pick fights in public <laughs> for the petty offenses. And then the other one is just being old and being like, as long, I would never do something bad, like wrong, and then be like, oh, you got a problem? I'll fucking punch you. But if I'm doing everything in my power to like make this situation resolve, and then they, through their own careless actions, end up walking into me because they're looking at their phone. Well, guess what? Now, now we're apologizing to one another. Let that be a lesson to you. Too many selfish people in the world uh, remain selfish because they never face consequences for their actions. I'm not out here like, oh, you're looking at your phone while you're driving. I'm going to like release the air from your tires. But I might give you a little fucking honk. I might be like, eh, the light's been green for four seconds. <laughs> What's good on Instagram right now? No, no, fucking knuckles. Sorry. I would I, actually, I'm, dude, here. I've had some psych. I'm, I'm realizing now. I've been kind of like a loose cannon. You're the a other, freak. The other day, I was at self checkout, waiting in line for self checkout. The dude um, in front of me was trying to figure out how to use the self checkout. He had like one bag of produce, but he couldn't remember the code or couldn't find the name or whatever. So he said, "Just a second, and then walk to get the code." As soon as he left, I scanned my shit and paid uh, on his account. So, like, he got the reward points or whatever, but I'm like, I'm not waiting around for, for this guy to fucking come back from the vegetable section. And uh, then he came back, and he just went, <sighs> and he had to get in line. 
It took him like 45 seconds to come back. I was like, you, you can't just say just a second and then like leave. We got other people here who've got shit to do. Yeah, that's I'm fair. doing I my thought... own thing. As long as I'm within <laughs> the my rights as a... As, and this is not even like as a consumer. Is if if you're inconveniencing other people, well, now you've made it my business. I'm just gonna do what I was gonna do normally if you hadn't fucked it up. If you got a problem with that, then that's that's your emotions getting the better of you. Nah, man, you're uh, full me mode, dude. Go for it. You got a kid now. You're allowed. I'm I'm now realizing this is all in character. Like there's because <laughs> now like I'm I'm thinking about like it's a cascade of events from like the past month that are coming into my head. <laughs> Like a, at a, I, I was yeah, at a four, revelation. I was at a damn four way stop, and then uh, I was like third there, and the two cars in front of me went, and then the lady to my left tried to go, and as she was going, I just went, uh, and I turned left because I had to turn left to get a, a crosser, and I was just shouting the whole time. I said, "How long are you gonna make me wait to turn left here?" Like you know, I could, it would have taken the same amount of time for me to just let her go and then go myself, but no, she she broke convention. She broke the rules. She needs to face some kind of, like, psychic consequence. She doesn't need to go to prison, but she needs to know, like, I saw that shit, and whether it was a, an omission of skill or a deliberate asshole move, you're gonna face a consequence for me. And That's she was, fair. she honestly, her posture behind the wheel, she went from Meryl Streep to Michael Sarah. She went from, like, <laughs> like, sitting tall and confident to, like, she had, like, a little curve in her back, and she kind of hunched over the steering wheel, and I was like, let's go. I've I've done my good deed for today. <laughs> <laughs> dude, uh, maybe maybe I should be worried about you or shooting someone else at this point, dude. Jesus I would Christ. never, I would never, I would never own a gun. That's fair. Or any kind of weapon. I would never physically assault somebody unless it w it was in like self defense. I think. But I, I, w I, I would. I would. I'm I'm starting to realize that my words are my gun, and I'm, I've no, like... I'm no longer as afraid to use them as I used to be. I do feel like you're you're like two or three steps removed from like slashing a tire or something though. I would never. To be honest. <laughs> I don't know. I would never slash someone's tire. <laughs> I mean, what if they cut you off and then parked in the same parking lot that you were at? Like, I would I'm park. Saying, like... I would if there was like a parallel parking situation. I would box them in though. <laughs> I would never slash enough. it. I would just make it take forever for them to get out of there. Oh, that's what spot. I mean. You're like you're like a couple steps removed from that, though. Okay. Yeah. Own. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're all a couple steps removed from some <laughs> fucked up shit, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you gotta don't, don't go too much farther, you know. Yeah. No, I know. You're well, you know like, what's gonna happen running, is one day your car into a barrier and lighting it on fire and shooting yourself. One day I'm gonna do that shit to the wrong person, and then they're gonna yell at me, and I'm gonna feel bad, and I'm never gonna do it ever again. <laughs> but yeah, for now, much. I've been I've been operating with impunity. I'm running amok out there, kind of. But only when people, like, offend me in the first... Like, oh, dude. Well, I felt actually great when the kid walked into me with the leash. And then he said, <laughs> sorry, mister. Uh, what if that was, like, his, like, the seat, like support dog or something? And you just, It like, was not! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like... <laughs> you gotta be careful. What if? Man. You're gonna bump into someone you know what? with sunglasses the and be like, out of the way, man! The thing that's, that's kinda... fucked up is that I was still recovering from my uh, simultaneous Campylobacter and Salmonella infection. <laughs> oh, that shit right, could've right, killed right. me. Shit, my <laughs> legs were really weak. I had uh, <laughs> I had pitting edema. That could've caused me to have like a permanent scar or something. Oh my god. <sighs> you know that's what's kind though. of pissing me off? Is that I've been talking about the... Obviously, the infection stuff for a while, but so it's become a meme where people are like, "People talk." I almost died, but it's starting to piss me off a little bit because I did kind of like almost die. Like the more people are saying it, the more it's becoming like, "Oh, remember that time he pretended to almost die from food poisoning?" But like, legitimately, I was fucked up. <laughs> I could have faced some severe like health consequences. So just remember that, okay? You can still type it. I just don't want it to become a meme that like, oh, I'm actually stupid um that i didn't go through some shit because i went through some shit okay some shit i'm um, good luck to you by the way i'm yeah, yeah yeah oh my god this is the most confusing maze ever why'd you even try that one man i've made it through the drums i've got good news Let's go! <laughs> that was the craziest maze ever, man. We won. Team effort. Team effort, team effort. Mm -hmm. Whew.
Look, it took both of us to get there, all right? Yep, technically. <laughs> I was still alive at the end. Yeah, true. Oh, I don't even feel bad because I won that Hexa uh, Thin Ice game. Yeah, did that I get carry? I could damn coast. Oh, man. I was still coming down off that ramp, man. That was, that was the scariest I've ever seen. You. I feel very... Like, it's like... You know what? I'm not the Joker. I'm actually Batman. Which is also... Like, he has his own kind of moral darkness. Don't get me wrong. But the Joker is like, Hey, nice boat ride you got here. What if I blew it up? <laughs> Batman is like, You stole a chocolate bar. I'm gonna break your leg. That's... I'm, I'm Batman. People are like, you know, com committing mild social grievances against me, and I'm refusing to bend at all. Yeah, yeah. I just, you know, you're gonna have that one situation where, like, you might, you might misread it. You know, and I've been working you the be eyebrows too. I've been really working the eyebrows. Well, like the, the rock, like the. Well, no, like someone does something that I think is dumb and it inconveniences me a little bit, and I hit him with one of these. I hit him with a. Is it the one eyebrow up, one down? It's a it's a two eyebrows up, head slightly turned to the side to be like, oh, uh, like, come on. Did you you want to you want to take another crack at that one? <laughs> <Do> you, <laughs> Try again. Yeah, you know. Oh, maybe next time uh, you could remember the produce code before you come to the self checkout. <laughs> He's just me. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's pushing. <laughs> he knows what he did. I didn't see what was in the bag. It might have been like some fucked up. I mean, I've been there too. I, I tried to put bok choy into the self checkout. It's like we don't have bok choy. It turns out this shit is called like uh, something different. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but I had to go from the self checkout to the normal checkout. And she's like, oh yeah, we don't call it bok choy. We call it like, you know, sparkling cabbage or something. And I was like, yeah. oh, okay, my bad. Whoa. No hammer? I sleep. No hammer, dude. Who cares? Watch this, watch this. Ooh. Oh, nice jump. Uh, he still made it. No. Oh, I just... I may have thrown P1. Ah, oh, whatever. We're clean. Tragic. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the best is when the produce is spelled wrong in their system. Well, you gotta learn like every individual self checkout, right? I, I do want to give some credit to the grocery store I go to the most. Their scales were like miscalibrated or calibrated with such a tight window that they always needed a supervisor to come over and check. Like it would always ring the alarm, even if you weren't stealing. But this now, like I've never seen the alarm bells go off in, in but probably the last month, which is great. However, you need to learn, like if you're buying red pepper, you don't type in red pepper. You type in bell pepper red, and then it shows up. I'm like, how, how bad is the search function that you need to type it in, like in the exact alphanumeric sequence? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I've ever typed in a produce code before. I'm going to be honest with you. They have I a sticker on it, and then you just put it on the scale, and then you go beep, 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 and then it, the sticker has the number on it. That's pretty easy. I think I can handle it. I'll be honest. I was tempted to, from that self-checkout line. I was tempted to steal for the first time ever the other day. I didn't because I'm a coward. What um, tempted yeah. you to thievery? Okay, so hear me out. Right? Was we there were, someone we were... before you taking a, in front of you taking a really long time for no reason? In which case, no. I would feel you're justified. We were at Walmart and we were buying stuff for like the, the trip because we all the boys had just gotten there and then we passed by them restocking Pokemon card packs. All right. And because they're always out at Walmart, dude, they're always out because like someone like us comes by and just grabs the fucking stack of them. And... Wow. Yeah, yeah, I understand. <laughs> yeah. So we, we were those guys for that time. So we just grabbed a stack of them and we, we went to the checkout and I was like, no one's watching me. Like, I, I know the cameras are probably on, but like, if I just grabbed like two packs at a time and scanned them and pretended it was one pack, no one would know. No one would be the wiser. Let me like, take no it one... a step further. At any given time at the self checkout, you could probably, you could just walk out the door, probably. Yeah, some people do that apparently, <laughs> I was told. That's just the thing that you can do is like, you could just, you know, like, fill your bags up at the self checkout, don't ring anything up, and then yes. just leave. Like, some people are out there taking, like, other stuff. They're, like, weighing, um, like, ribeyes. And then they're typing it in as, like, non-organic bananas or something like that. Like, that's, that's just, just that's just stealing with extra steps. 
yeah, but it's but it's like that's smart stealing. I respect it. Look, look, it, if you're gonna stick it to the man, at least stick it to Walmart. Like, yes, I, I couldn't agree more with that. But I will say, I also, and this is, I'm only bringing it up because it's in my psycho arc and it's completely in character. When my mom was here, sometimes we would leave the grocery store and go to another store. And she would get so tilted at me if I didn't take my receipt from the grocery store. Because she'd be like, what if the Home Depot thinks you stole those eggs from there? <laughs> and I, I told her, I was like, I, just give me a reason. I would love it if I, if I bought groceries legally, went into another store, and they tried to like detain me for stealing some iced tea or something like that. I would, the whole time they had me locked in the back office or whatever, I'd be like, you're making a big mistake. <laughs> you don't even know. You don't mess with Ryan on his not psycho e arc. Dude. Not even like, oh, you don't know who I am, but like, I'm gonna, you can't illegally detain me for this, and I didn't steal. Check out my well simple cash app. I've got the receipt right in here. <laughs> I, and then I would take the whole business down, man. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, you'd get Just like give me, I, I'm in that art. dollars in damages? No, nah, well, it depends. I'll just make up like a lie about how they, I don't know. They kicked you. Strip searched me or something after that. Mm -hmm. they were like, you got any more fruit roll-ups on you? Drop them. <laughs> I am on that. I'm, I'm becoming... You're, you're right, I'm Batman. I think you said that, right? No, um, you said yeah, that. That was me? Because every time I walk outside now, I'm like, just give me a reason. Batman does, like, he does, like, look for fights, you know? Yes. That's he true. does pick them. Are you also saying you're, like, a billionaire? Because... No. I'm just saying, like, well, the it's not a good look. The S&P 500 has been doing really well the past 30 days or so. It's good. I'm happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> you really needed that, didn't you? Well, it's been a hard year. First, uh, the, we, you know, we entered a secular bear market, uh, had the simultaneous infections. I think I brought that up a couple times. No, I That's feel about you. it. That's about it. I mean, I went like a month without winning a Fall Guys game. That's the worst of all the things that happened. Jeez, man. I mean, after I got used to the winning, you know, once a day.